Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at Venn diagrams and questions that could come up in the 11 plus about Venn diagrams. If you find this video useful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's start. Okay, so in a Venn diagram, there are two or three overlapping circles. Each circle has a condition that must be fulfilled if something is to be put in the circle. For example, if the circle is called children who are over 16, only names of children who are old, over the age of 16 can be put in the circle. Overlaps between the two circles means that both of the conditions of both circles have been met. For example, to be put in the overlap between two circles labelled over 16 and plays football, the name must be a, of a person who is older than 16 and who plays football. So any values outside of the diagram does not meet any of the conditions over any of the circles. So if you look at this Venn diagram here, in this diagram, Bob is over 16, but he doesn't play football or video games. You can see this because Bob is in the circle over 16, and um, he's in the part where there's no overlaps. So Charlie is over 16, plays football, and does not play video games. You can see this because Charlie is in the overlap between over 16 and plays football, but he is not in the section of plays video games. So Sophie is over 16, she plays football, and she plays video games. You can see this because her name is in the overlap of all three circles, and so on. Okay, so if you're given this Venn diagram here, you could be asked which students are part of the football team. So you have to make sure to include the students whose names appear in the middle of the Venn diagram, as they are also part of the football team. So the answer to the question on the uh, right would be, Sophie, Bob, Adam, Thomas and Mary are part of the football team. So now you can have a go at the question at the bottom. How many students are over 8 but aren't part of the football team? So this time you don't want to include students in the middle as although they are over 8 they are part of the football team and you are asked about people who are over 8 but aren't in the football team. So the answer to this is one student, Susan. Okay, let's have a go at another question. In this Venn diagram, do more girls or boys like Spider-Man? You can pause the video now to give this a go. Okay, so there are three girls and two boys who like Spider-Man. Make sure you include the values in the middle too. So, more girls like Spider-Man. So the three girls who like Spider-Man are Susan, Sophie and Mary, and the two boys are Thomas and Adam. Okay, let's have a go at another question. 55's children were asked if they played hockey or football. The diagram below was drawn based on the results. How many children could play neither football nor hockey? So first, let's work out how many students play football, hockey or both. This would, is basically adding up all of the values in the Venn diagram. So that's 23 plus 11 plus 9 to, get, uh, to reach the conclusion that 43 students play football, hockey or both. So you know that 55 students were asked originally, so you have to take away the 43 children who play football, hockey or both from this 55 to reach the conclusion that 12 stu uh, students play neither football or hockey. So you can write 12 outside the Venn diagram as it satisfies none of the conditions. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Mr. Gowell, the hockey coach, carried out a survey to see whether the children who scored goals were right-handed or left-handed. Here are his results in a Venn diagram. So you can pause the video and try and work out this problem. Okay, so A. Use the Venn diagram to write down the number of right-handed children in the team. So you have to look at the circle of right-handed people. So five people are only right-handed and three people are right-handed and have scored a goal. So you have to add up these numbers. Five plus three equals eight children. So now B the number of left-handed children who scored a goal. So you have to look at the circle scored a goal, but uh, the children must not be in the right-handed circle. So you can work out that only two people are in the scored a goal circle without being in the right-handed circle. So C, the number of left-handed people. So um, you see that two people, we've worked out that two left-handed children scored a goal and there's one left-handed person outside the circle who has not scored a goal. 
So you have to add up these values, 2 plus 1, which equals 3 children who are left-handed on the team. Okay, so next question. There are 80 students in year 11. 9 students study French and German, 35 students study only French, and 2 students do not study French or German. Complete the Venn diagram. So this should be reasonably easy, it's just putting values inside the Venn diagram. So, there are 9 students who study French and German, 35 students who study only French, and 2 students who do not study French or German. So to work out the uh, people who study only German, which is also part B, you have to work out that there's 80 students in year 11, and you have to take away the students who study both French and German, the students who study only French, and the students who do not study French or German, to give you 34 people who study only German. So the answer to B is 34, and you can put that value inside the Venn diagram. Next question. At a wedding, the guests may have ice cream or custard with their dessert. The Venn diagram shows information about the choices the guests made. For A is how many guests had custard. So, 30, you can see from the Venn diagram that 34 people had only custard, and 9 people had custard and ice cream. So you can add up 34 and 9 to get 43. So B, how many guests had ice cream and custard? So you know from reading the Venn diagram that 9 people are in the overlap between ice cream and custard, and therefore 9 people had ice cream and custard. Next question, how many guests went to the wedding? For this one, all you need to do is add up 51, 9, 34 and 13, all the values in the Venn diagram, to tell you that 107 people went to the wedding. Last question. This one might seem a bit intimidating as there are four circles, but the concept is still the same. So, 1. How many students play only hockey? So, this one should be quite easy. There's only 20 students who play only hockey with no overlaps. So, number 2. How many children play cricket, hockey or both? So, for this one, you add up all of the values that are in the hockey circle and the cricket circle. So, you do 20 plus 18 plus 10 plus 19 plus 5 plus 28 plus 15 plus 11 to give you an answer of 126. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. Bye for now.